Welcome to the Panasonic studio at the Toronto International Film Festival. The Skin I Live In, the new film from Pedro Almodovar, has opened worldwide to great acclaim and it's also making waves right here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Sitting across from me is Elena Anaya, the star of the film. Thank you so much. You know, Pedro Almodovar is one of the most famous people in Spain and his movies attract a lot of attention and I just wonder uh, what the reaction has been to in Spain to this film because I saw it a couple of weeks ago and I remember thinking you know this movie is uh, even further out than he usually goes this is a this is just a wild movie what's the reaction been in his own country well I'm very impressed because I'm agree with you I thought people w was gonna be like overwhelmed mm -hmm. But they are overwhelmed in a very good way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, massive people went to watch the film uh, first week. Mm -hmm. Now we are in the second week, and I just keep uh, get, getting like uh, very nice reactions from from real audience who are you know people who just buy the ticket and right. go to the cinema. Soy tuya. Estoy hecha a tu medida. Y acabas de decirme que te gusto. He dicho eso. Sé que me miras. Without telling people anything, what was your reaction when you first saw the script? Because um, there are uh, there are some scenes you you. It's all about your skin, so there's revealing scenes. Let's say that there's that. There's also very emotional scenes, and then there's some scenes that are completely unexpected. What did you think as an actor looking at this script when you first saw it? Okay, uh, being very honest, uh, when I first read it, um, I, I go further. Mm -hmm. In my own life, I loved Pedro Almodovar, but mm -hmm. after reading the script, I did fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. Like I have a crush. <laughs> 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 and I just wanted to call him and say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to kiss you all around <laughs> when, I, when I see you again. You know, I thought uh, that was uh, such an impressive and... Mm -hmm. Uh, a smart script. Cállate. Tírame la llave de la puerta. Fui de la. Si sigues bajando, me corto el cuello y se te acabó el juguete. No eres capaz. Uh, let's talk a little bit about working with Antonio Banderas. I thought his performance in this film, I mean, it, it, it's magnificent, his work in this film. Yeah. But I, I thought there was a real difference, and maybe I'm just perceiving this, between the work that he does in America and the work that he does in Spain. I think it's, it's because uh, they work together um, many times. Yeah. They're good friends, they trust in each other. And Pedro is a very uh, precise director. Right who asks you exactly what he wants, and, Pe and Antonio is very obedient, right. and he did exactly <laughs> what Pedro asked him. And as you said before, it's very difficult uh, to find a character mm -hmm. like this for me, and also for him. Yeah. You know, uh, the characters that uh, we actors get offered, uh, sometimes they are not, uh, we are not capable of, of showing our, this part of our, our work. Right, right. Elena, thank you so much. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. Me thank too, you. thank you so much. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Red Carpet Diary and like us on Facebook to keep up with all the comings and goings in the interviews right here at the Panasonic Suite.